Hello guys, today we're going to be working on this Tableau Whirlpool washer. The model number is on the display, but if you can't read the model number there, there's going to be type on the description. Of Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. The complaint that we have with this Whirlpool washer is that it's leaking water inside the tub. This is a clear indication that the water valve is getting stuck on the open position. So we're going to go ahead and start pulling the machine out to have access to the water valve. Now we're going to go ahead and release the top panel. And we, I put my hand inside and I'm releasing a clamp that is holding this part off the back panel. As you can see, it's already lifting up. This is two ways. There's two ways to do it. You can use a putty knife, a very flexible putty knife, or you can use your hand inside the washer you can do it either way is fine now once you do that you're gonna have to pull it out in an angle towards you I'm gonna go ahead and show you see right there you have to twist it a little and then pull out and it will release the two male to female connections in the back now I'm gonna give you a demonstration right now of how I put my hand as you see my finger right there this is where the clamp is um, securing the top panel and as you can see this is what i was doing inside the washer releasing that clamp and this is a dem demonstration of how you can do it with the putty knife this is what happens you put it right there and it will uh, put a press on the clamp and it will release it after that the top panel will come loose and you can uh, lean it towards you now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the washer. Always remember to disconnect the washer to avoid electric shock. And also go ahead and take pictures to remember where the terminal wires or any wiring harness were to um, make sure you know where they were connected and you don't connect it in the wrong spot. Now, as I was saying at the beginning of this video, the homeowner used the washer once a week and every time she use the washer you will have like a four fingers like four inches of water or three inches of water there that's about four or five gallons and that's what i'm saying that one of these valve was leaking water now just to be on the safe side we're going to go ahead and replace both because i've been in a situation where i replaced one and after a day or two or a week the other one start leaking so I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description of this video and you will buy both of them as a set. Now remember to turn off the water before you disconnect the, the hoses or you can go ahead and kink it and do this if your water valves in the house are not working right or turn off the water for the whole house just to prevent a flood. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect the water hoses turning them uh, counterclockwise as you see you have to be prepared to wa uh, for water to spill out see I have a little towel and now we are disconnecting the red um, line which is the hot water line now we are disconnecting the cold side Again, counterclockwise, be prepared for water to spill down. That way you don't make a mess. And now we are disconnecting the hot side um, water valve. It has one quarter screws and it has two screws each water valve. Once you remove the two uh, quarter screws on the side, the water valve will come right out in this scenario. This is the hot side. And now we're going to go ahead and remove the cold side, which is very similar. The only thing it changes is the uh, color. Now this is the part number. Again, it's going to be a link in the description of this video. That way you guys can buy. Um, both water valves as I said on Amazon or any other link that we have there this is the cold side now we're gonna go ahead and sit it in place 
make sure you put it in the hole for the water hoses that's coming from the water valve in the wall. Once you do that, you're gonna secure the new water valve with the two one quarter screws. Just make sure you don't grab any of the wires with the screw or the screwdriver. And again, this is a one quarter. You can use a, a regular one quarter screws or you can use your drill, but just be careful if you're using the drill because you cannot put too much torque on it because you can strip the uh, part where the screw is going in and you will have a loose water valve and that could be a leak. So my suggestion, if you're not handy with tools, go ahead and use a regular screwdriver with one quarter drill bit. Now we have the red in place. The red is a little different because you, it only need one solenoid and that's the way they are. As you can see in the beginning of the video, the original, it only has one solenoid as well. Now we are connecting the terminals for the two water valves. This is the uh, power um, cables. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these two pieces in. And again, it have to be with the angle down until you hear a clip. As you see, there's a male to female connection right there that it have to sit in place and you just push it down and you will hear how it snaps in place. I didn't show in the video, but normally it's two one quarter screws that also holds this machine. That piece, I didn't have it in the uh, footage at the beginning. So you have to remove those two one quarter screws as well and go ahead and install them after you replace the water valve. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect the washer and turn on the water valves after you go ahead and um, connect the water hoses where they should be. Now, this part is a little tricky because you have to make sure you don't put this um, water hoses uh, twisted. That knot can go twisted and you can damage really, really easy the new water valve how you know when it's twisted and you're not installing it correctly if you start turning and it start getting tension after two twists that means it's not in right you have to be able to twist it at least four or five times before it gets tension when you're screwing the water valve over here what i'm saying is you have to connect the water hoses open the water hoses and plug them the washer now we what we're gonna do is go ahead and start testing and like I said it was just dripping there I'm taking this part out because it was all full of dry soap and we're just gonna do a little maintenance on it clean it up a little as you see it's all dirty and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean this out and make sure it's not gonna leak after we replace the new water valve just to be on the safe side. At this point, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on test mode. And you have a couple of videos on how to do this test mode, but you can put this video in you know, slow motion and do what I'm doing in this. Yes, to turn on those water valve or for you just go ahead and start a cycle and keep an eye on it like i said the complaint it was that it was water on the washing machine every time she was going to use it and at this point i'm testing the water valve just by put it on test mode or manual test mode but again you don't have to do that if you want to do it my way just look for another video on my channel but i don't want you guys to go through all that because this is a very simple repair you got water in the tub even with the machine is off you need to replace the water valves that's very simple as you see i don't have the drawer on and it's filling in water just removing a little penny that wasn't stuck on the uh, wash plate and 
and I'm also cleaning the drawer for the uh, soap dispenser and the uh, softener and bleach and things like that. So you see there's a lot of gunk and dry soap. Just clean as much as you can because this can be um, clogging all the access for the soap and the softener. So you see all that went on the bottom of the um, tub and just trying to get much as trying to get it out much as you can. Now we are putting the drawer back in place. All the accessories where they go. It's very important to put them back the way they're supposed to go. And now we are putting the drawer back again. At this point, we're pretty much done, guys. If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more contents like this. Now this drawer, you need to just wiggle it into it goes in in place. It's a little uh, tight, but it will go. As you see right there, it's right where it should be. Now I'm just adjusting that piece because it was coming off, but everything is fine. We test everything, it's not leaking anymore. We did this repair a few months ago and everything is working beautiful. Thanks for watching.